Um, and I, I think as well that when I look at, um, when you listen to the Gilchrist talk about what a left hemisphere dominant society would look like, yeah. um, he's describing our modern society. He's describing, you know, and, and even the point too that you talk about where people want to say left hemisphere, people want to say there's confirmation bias in the looking at this stuff. He tells that interesting story where when you go see people in the hospital who've just had a stroke in their, um, in their uh, left, in their right hemisphere, and so their left hemisphere is, is, is all that's really working, you go up to them and you say, how are you feeling? And they say, I'm fine. And they don't really register that anything has happened that's bad. And they say, I will move your, move your left arm. And they go, there, I just did. I just moved it. And they hadn't, they hadn't moved it. And they wow. say, they'll lift up the arm and show it to them and say, no, this is your left arm. You didn't move it. And their left hemisphere says, no, that's somebody, that's the guy in the next bed. That's not my arm. Wow. And there's this interesting idea that he talks about where the left hemisphere uh, the right hemisphere understands the things it doesn't know, and that the left hemisphere thinks it knows everything, and it's fine. It that the won't whole, the, acknowledge it or will actively lie to you to pretend it knows. 